The minimum wage for fast food workers in California is going to increase to 20 bucks an hour. That's forcing some restaurants to lay off workers just to make ends meet. If you're a home buyer, somebody or a young person looking to buy a home, you need a bit of a reset. There, there is a possibility on the other side of this that that uh, inflation could be could actually be quite Welcome low. Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in and it's starting to get cheaper to go out to eat at a sit down restaurant than it is going through a drive through in California. Now, starting Monday, April 1st, the new minimum wage in California for fast food workers is going to raise from $15 an hour to $20 an hour. Now, as a result of that, there have been mass layoffs around the fast food industry. And so today we're going to take a look at exactly what happened, why all of the layoffs in fast food, why all the expenses. And guys, realize every time things get more expensive for these corporations to operate, they're going to pass that expense to us the consumer. So my question is, is when is McDonald's going to be more expensive than Ruth Chris Steakhouse? Now, if you've seen Demolition Man, you know that the king of fast food is eventually going to become Taco Bell, isn't it? It's not Del Taco, it's Taco Bell, right? If you've seen the movie. Anyways, comment below if you've seen that movie. Now, if you guys think that fast food is getting too expensive, do me a favor, like the video, shoot me a bonkers below and put in fast food is too expensive because it is too expensive, and I'm going to say, because obviously my channel is mainly about purchasing real estate, if you're out there buying McDonald's, stop. Make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for 90% less expense. Just make your lunch, guys. That's all I'm saying. Just make your lunch, okay? Make your lunch. And, and save your money. Save your money. Stop getting them rich, okay? Save your money. But I'm going to make a point real quick, and then I'm going to get into this article. You know, servers at like dine-in restaurants, they make like 2 $3 an hour, and they work off of tips. So the fact that these, you know, service workers are required to make $20 an hour, that's... That's pretty crazy. Now, I know the cost of living is more expensive. I understand the wage gap. I understand these things, but $20 an hour? Comment below if you think that's too much. Now, let's start by taking a look at what's happening in California specifically. This is a recent article. Everything will be linked in my description. California fast food restaurants conduct mass layoffs in retaliation against state minimum wage increases. And it's interesting, the retaliation, they're taking it out on their employees. So they're upset at the California government, but the people that suffer are the consumers because they're raising prices and their employees because they can no longer afford to keep them. Thank you, California, for the division. Multiple California fast food restaurants have begun mass layoffs and other cost-cutting measures in advance of the April 1st enactment of the new state minimum wage law. Wages will increase for fast food workers from the current poverty level of $16 an hour. Now, I've heard other reports say $15 an hour. I'm not sure why the difference to $20 an hour. Now, in December, two large Pizza Hut franchise operators announced that they will be laying off all, you guys, all in-house delivery drivers in favor of paid delivery services such as DoorDash and Uber Eats. I actually know a handful of people that were pizza delivery people and they actually made, they made decent money. So unfortunately you guys, you know, and I'm telling you a lot of those people provide for their entire family delivering pizzas because of the tips. That's a huge blow. That's a huge blow to delivery drivers. No doubt about that. Now, additional layoffs include Excalibur Pizza. Now I'm from California, so I know them, which owns Round Table Pizza. Oh my gosh. I used to go to Round Table after soccer practice when I was a child all the time. Uh, basically, they're going to eliminate 73 positions in mid-April. Now, approximately, it gets worse, approximately 1,100 Pizza Hut delivery drivers are set to lose their jobs across the state. That is despite the fact that Yum Brands, owner of Pizza Hut, had gross profits, oh my gosh, for cheese and marinara sauce and dough, $5.3 billion dollars in 2023. That's a 4% increase year over year. And they're still laying people off because that's messed up. $20 minimum wage is killing these people. Now, there are other chains as well doing this that include El Pollo Loco. Holy smokes, the crazy chicken is also doing layoffs, as well as hamburger restaurant. Restaurant? Jack Is Jack in a Box a restaurant? <laughs> 
I mean, seriously, comment below. Maybe it's a restaurant. Maybe I'm just out of touch uh, because I'm too old now. But the restaurant Jack in a Box is also laying off people. Now, this is interesting, guys. They're going to be utilizing robotics to automate some operations. I'm going to show you a video of that in a minute, including salsa making and fry stations. Hiring freeze have also been announced in nearly every other fast food chain. So the minimum wage is causing people to get fired. Again, I say, thanks, California. Thank you. McDonald's and Chipotle, I love Chipotle, by the way, Mexican Grill also announced in November that they would be increasing prices to offset the minimum wage increase. So again, we keep paying for the inflation. We keep paying for these things. It's us that pay. It's the normal people that just want to be, I just want to be left alone. Okay. Just want to find a house that I can afford, that I love, you know, that's at a good price point and just leave me alone. That's all I want. Okay. And I also want to go fishing. I want to go fishing, obviously take care of my family. I want my family. I want my family to have security and balance. Okay. I won't lie about that. Now the McDonald's announcement follows nationwide price increases of 10%. Oh my gosh, for those French fries. Holy smokes. In 2023 at the fast foods behemoth. Since 2019, prices at fast food restaurants overall have increased an average of 30 percent. The new law, California Assembly Bill 1228, establishes the new minimum wage for all those restaurants classified as limited service, meaning that limited or no table service. Wait staff is offered and that all food and beverage items are purchased before being consumed. Furthermore, only those chains with more than 60 locations nationwide are subject to the new provisions. The new legislation also creates a nine member. This is an absolute joke. Okay. So this is where, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong here. Is this where the money laundering goes or scratch my back and I'll scratch your back? Anyways, so they've actually made a fast food council. Good use of taxpayer money, huh? So it's not about the health of, of the consumer anymore. Like, am I going to get cholesterol? I'm going to have a heart attack from eating the French fries. It's not about that anymore. It's about, I'm going to keep increasing the minimum wage unless you scratch my back, just like Panora Bread did. Now, with the authority to annually increase wages by the lower of the consumer price index, or 3.5%, guaranteeing that under current inflationary trends, workers continue to receive cuts in real pay each year. But the problem is, is a lot of these people just got cut completely, and that minimum wage that they were excited about is no longer there. Now I'm going to tell you guys, I'm from California. California is beautiful, great weather. They have oceans, mountain ranges. They have all this great stuff. I missed that part. I would not want to raise my family there. But the thing is, guys, when I moved from California, I got to tell you, my life changed. I was no longer married to my rent payment. I was no longer married to my mortgage payment. I could afford to live. And so I moved to Texas. I moved to Texas. I started over. I found my wife. I have a family now. I have children now. It's okay to move. If things are too expensive in your area, the answer might not be the government coming in, giving people minimum wage, because that's just going to hurt the very people that it's designed to protect and not only that, they're also putting more pressure on these institutions and organizations to get rid of employees altogether and switch to AI and robotic animation. Take a listen to this video. Part of this year in January. So, you know, we're in a very fortunate circumstance where we already have a lot of automation. We're a self-serve frozen yogurt. So uh, our customers are actually doing a lot of the work, mm. which is great. They love the individuality of being able to pick their own flavors. That being said, we do operate in with, with much fewer than fewer employees than a lot of our competitors. And you see a lot of uh, comparable QSRs might have 10, 12 workers on shift. We can usually get by with two or three. So we're in the fortunate position where our labor um, isn't really that dependent, uh, or, or it's not that many people where these small increases make an, an impact. But yes, uh, it's certainly going to get hard out there. And there's not a big cushion for QSR operators where they have that available room. And so a lot of this is going to be passed on to consumers, which is which is my fear over the next few years. And so y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. We have a business owner that's basically switching to all automated stuff, AI stuff, and is passing any additional costs on to the consumer. So what's the real issue here? Is the real issue like corporate greed, the wage gap growth? Because I understand we should, as a society, grow together with the success of corporations, but they don't do that. They pocket the profit, pay the shareholders and get filthy rich. 10 people in a company full of 10,000 are the only people that, getting, that are getting rich. There is a massive wage gap going on right now. And being guys that we have quantitative tightening going on right now, I would be very concerned if I had any job 
that's like a service job because right now the whole economy is a gig economy. It's run off of like part-time jobs, DoorDash and things like that. And so as the quantitative tightening and those lag effects start to be felt, the gig economy, the second jobs, the part-time jobs will be the first to go. And what will happen, guys, if demand gets crushed, we finally enter a recession and these companies start suffering, guess what? They're now stuck with a minimum wage law from the state of California. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna cause these fast food restaurants to get the heck out of California, just like I did, because I could not afford to live and be happy. So on one hand, guys, it's like, I don't know, you know, fast food should be making $20 an hour. But on the other hand, do we really wanna blame these workers? I mean, look at the inflation, look at the money printing, look at how we continue to pay the bill. Things right now, you guys, are very, very scary. And what I'm really afraid of is the lack of patience in America and this whole instant gratification thing. If it's me, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I've almost completely eliminated all fast food from my expenses. Okay. I'm saving a ton of money by not going to Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or Pizza Hut. And we make dinner here. Being able to save and reposition yourself before a recession hits and before you lose your job is vital. I did not do that last time during the great financial crisis and I lost everything. Eventually, basically it led to foreclosure, bankruptcy, repo and a tax lien, but nothing compared to the amount of depression that I had to carry with me for almost a decade. I had to crawl myself out of the gutter. And so again, the purpose of this video is to remind you of what's happening behind the headlines, behind the scenes. Quantitative tightening is happening. You guys, there's greed, corruption, and fraud going on, and they need us, the consumer, to continue to spend and pay for these ridiculous laws. Now, do me a favor. I really want to know. On one hand, we do need to take care of people, right? I want people to make more money, Americans. I want Americans to make more money so they can comfortably afford to live. But on the other hand, is making a minimum wage of $20 an hour the answer? Seriously, think about that. Is that the answer? Maybe you think it is. Maybe you think it isn't. Either way, the franchises continue to win and we continue to lose. Now, other than that, guys, keep it tight out there. Don't use your emotions to buy, rebudget, work on your purchasing power and make sure your resume is looking good. And don't forget, you guys, when I was a young adult, we actually had to try to get jobs. My resume was about 10 pages thick. I had letters of recommendation, I had certificates, I had a cover sheet. My resume was super nice. So you may want to start thinking about updating your resume. Now, other than that, guys, if you're out there investing in real estate, you already know I wish you luck and I hope you win.